What the freak? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get started. Um, I for the for the pinky fingers, I'm using. Okay, first of all, I'm using these long nails because go big or go home. Ah, she who is upright of doing too much always does too little. So we doing these long, these long ghetto 90s nails, okay? Where the ghetto women at? Okay, so these are not press-on nails, but they are pretty um thick. So since they're not press-on nails, I need to file and uh, round out the top to make them round to go along the cuticle area. And this is a 8080 file, which I recently learned about. Apparently it's great for filing um, acrylics. See, look how fast they did that. I've been using a 180, 180 file and it, it hasn't worked that fast, okay? So we're gonna put that right there. Okay, um, also this is some double-sided tape by Gorilla Glue. By Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue is the bomb, okay? So I'm gonna cut a small piece of that and really, we can cut that in half, and that's enough for two nails. So, I also bought this cute little thing for uh, that helps make press-on nails. Um, people have been telling me to make press-on nails for years, and I was like, how do you even do that? So, of course, I went to YouTube and discovered that they sell these cute little things that all you need is some double-sided tape um to put on there and there you go you can make your press-ons then you just peel off that piece of oh and look and they come off like it's a it's a magnet then we'll put our pinky nail on there okay so i went ahead and put all of the double-sided tapes on there so i don't have to keep stopping so again for the pinky finger i'm using a size nine nail and for the ring finger i'm using a size six um i found these wait a second i'm gonna round out the top of this one too for the cuticle um and i'll tell you guys in a second um where i found you know what actually i'll um put a picture in of who i listen to to figure out what size to make the nails for a size small cuticle or nail beds so this is the middle finger i'm using a size four And these are for my photo shoot. I might go ahead and make myself a pair too so my nails don't be looking crazy at the photo shoot. Do not file too hard with the 8080 file because you may be filing, you may file too much off. Okay, so for the index or pointer finger, I'm using the size five. For the thumb, I'm using a size two. Um, and now I'm gonna buff all of them. So I'm gonna put a base coat on the nails and then cure them 
before I polish them. And uh, we're just going to do a simple nail today. Um, I'm thinking just some glitter and some stones. Because I don't want them to distract from the clothes. <laughs> And truth be told, half the time, I don't even like base coat. But I'm using it today because these are press-on nails and I'm not using acrylic. So I want them to be kind of thick. And I feel like if I use all those layers of polish, then they will be. <music> gel lamp is it works on led and uv polish however i'm not sure if the light in there is led or uv so when the polish says this this much this much time for uv or this much for led i just do it for uv um just in case so now i'm gonna cure this for one minute okay so now i'm gonna polish them with this glittery polish um So I'm going to cure these for a minute too. Okay, these are far too light. Um, I feel like they're just going to look like some clear plastic nails in at the photo shoot. So I'm going to use this pretty tan glittery color instead. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna put one more coat on there and um, cure it again and maybe put some jewels on. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put a couple of jewels. Uh, you know what? Let me top coat first. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the top coat on first and then put the jewels on. Okay, so now I'm gonna cure these. For one minute okay so now I'm gonna put a little jewels at the bottom and I'm gonna take um, this and dip it in the 3d gel because that's what I like to use or use to put on um, the crystals and then I just use that to Pick them up as well because who cares? And I'm going to do that to all of them at the bottom. Oh, and I'm going to um, just put it in the, gel in the gel machine for 10 seconds because sometimes the gel likes to move around and we don't want it falling. And I'm going to do that for each one until I'm done and then cure it all for three minutes. Because the builder gel needs to be cured for three minutes.
Okay, so now these are all cured. I cured it for three minutes. I cured the cured the builder gel for three minutes um, in the gel lamp. And now I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip. And wipe where the builder gel was so that it's not sticky. <laughs> all right all done um um now i'm gonna do i'm gonna paint the file and paint the other side of course on your um press-ons you can put acrylic if you want but i did not because you know she's not going to be really wearing these except for this shoot um now i'm going to take off that double-sided tape you can just use um regular nail glue that you use to glue on tips and glue them onto the nail beds if you want them to last for a long time you probably could use gorilla glue um i'm just going to use regular nail glue and because i don't I don't know if she can wear these um for a long time and these are my press on nails make it make it rain tree make it rain tree make it make it